Hey what's up guys welcome back to the third C++ tutorial and in this one we will be taking a look at how to install the Genie IDE uh, for your C++ programming. So what is a Genie IDE? Now if you have used the code blocks IDE which we had used in the previous video then you saw that uh, if you did a, if you wrote a certain code and if you used code blocks basically it used to consume a lot of resources it was a bit laggy in performance especially if you use a very low end computer or something let's say 2 gb ram or something but uh, so in order to find an alternative which can you know uh, work in a low level pc as well you can use the genie ide all right now genie is a universal ide it is available for coding it is available for free and you can use it to code pretty much any programming language out there now if you have been following my python tutorials on my website that is axer.com over there you have seen that i have shared a video in which i have basically used genie id to code uh, python programs so similarly you can use genie to code c++ programs as well but the installation procedure is a little bit lengthy and it can become a little bit tiresome all right but i'll make things everything i'll make things easy for you guys all right just open up this website genie.org i'll leave the link in the description and you can see a download link over here you can see below, uh, beneath that you can see the releases option is there just click on that and this will uh, redirect you to the pages where it, this will redirect you basically to the releases page wherein you can see the different types of binaries or the versions that are available for different operating system so we are using windows for now so we will be using this one which says windows 7 or newer and this is the version all right it says genie 1.35 setup.exe just click on it and this will basically start the download as you can see it's a very light 15.2 uh, mb ide you can save uh, save the file and simply install it as you would install any other software in your windows operating system the next thing that you need to download is tdm gcc compiler now this is the web page that you need to visit to don't worry about this php error if you come across the same in your case now just uh, visit this particular link i'll put the link in the description it will basically take you to the downloads page of this tdm gcc tdragon.net website and herein you can see this option the first option which says uh, tdm gcc 5.1.0-3.exe this is basically the version of the compiler that you need to download 5.1.0.3 is the version as of now while recording this video so just click on it and this will redirect to the sourceforge.net website wherein you can go ahead and download the tdm gcc min gw compiler and you can sim and you need to simply install the ide after downloading it in your computer it's just a simple basic installation just keep everything as default all right that's the main thing you need to do now to check whether or not the compiler has installed properly just open up your uh, i mean just search for cmd i mean open up command prompt you can open up uh, open it up as a normal user or maybe as an administrator and just type in gcc all right if i just if i can increase the font size let's see uh, 2024 okay now you can see properly so just type in gcc all right don't type in anything else and just press enter and you'll get this error all right now don't think that errors uh, if you come across an error then it's uh, something has gone wrong or something but if you come across this error which says fatal error no input files then everything is okay yeah and and you're good to go basically so let's close out of this now once you install genie you'll get this kind of a thing you'll get the shortcut in your i mean uh, home screen or uh, desktop just open it up all right now once genie opens up you'll get this kind of a screen you your screen may look a little bit different let me just uh, yeah your screen will some, look something like this uh, you'll have this symbols tab and the documents tab don't have to worry about anything now just uh, uh, tap on this area wherein you'll basically type the code and press control s all right and before that let me just do one thing just create a folder all right right in here my cpp project so basically create a folder in your favorite directory and go to genie and just press ctrl s and just type in the name of the i mean the cpp file all right the c++ file just 
I'm just typing in my CPP and just you have to add the extension dot CPP all right and go to the location wherein you need to save the file so we created a folder as I said my CPP project which is this one uh, don't worry about the spelling and just go inside that folder and save it over there all right now once you save uh, the file just type in a simple code in here and once you type in the code I'll show you how you can execute the code all right all right so once you have finished typing in the code as you can see i finished typing in the code it is basically it is a basic program let me just uh, separate these out so that it looks a little bit better all right so now that you can see that the, this is the basic code this is a basic hello world program that we'll be teaching you in the next video and once you have typed in the code the way the first thing that you need to do is compile the code so in code blocks we just had one button that was the build and run button but in this case you will need to use three buttons all right so you have this compile button just compile it and you'll get this message which says compilation finished successfully and then you have this build button just click build and wait for some time this will basically say compilation finished successfully and then click execute all right now as you can see that the code has executed and it has printed out the output or the desired output that we needed now just press any key to close out the command prompt now if you are wondering as to why we created that a particular folder in our case which is this one now we just created uh, we just placed in one cpp file inside it that was a c++ file but once you open it now you see that a lot of other files have come up like this is the application file then this is the object file and this is the CPP file that we created, all right? So uh, basically when you compile a C++ code, which, uh, which in this case we just use the compile button, and in case of code blocks, you use the uh, build and run button. So in case of uh, while coding C++, when you compile a certain code and build the code as we did over here by clicking on this build option. So basically it creates other files, all right? Like the object files and the application file so these things need to be stored inside one single folder I, I obviously you can uh, store it inside any other folder or maybe somewhere else but to keep it inside one folder it it is neat all right it is a neat practice so that's why we created this folder otherwise we could have simply placed the cpp file in the desktop and you could see that all the other object files and the application files would appear in the desktop itself so to prevent uh, garbage onto the desktop screen so we created this particular folder and this was basically the way you can install and run the i mean genie ide and for the most part of this tutorial series we'll be using this genie ide all right because this will basically uh, consume less resources and will work much it will work much more smoother all right so that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.